Ladies and gentlemen, we continue the action in the light welterweight division four rounds of boxing. Introducing to you, firstly, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the blue trunks, trimmed with red and white, weighing in at 10 stone, two pounds, eight ounces, and taking part in his 82nd professional contest. Ladies and gentlemen, the fighting pride of West Ham, London, Johnny Greaves. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks, weighing in at 10 stone, undefeated, one contest, one win. Ladies and gentlemen, the most decorated member of Team GB. Would you please welcome, from Lytham, St. Anne's, Scotty Carnell. <laughs> Timekeeper at the bell is Andrew East. Our referee in charge of the action is Mr. Mark Lyson. This is four three-minute rounds. OK, boys, both know the rules. Once you obey my commands, tell you to break, break cleanly, Defend yourselves at all times, okay? Touch gloves. Good luck to you both, lads. Seconds out, round one. Scotty Cardle in the black. A much decorated amateur champion now making his way as a professional and much is expected of him. Up against one of the old campaigners of British boxing, Johnny Greaves who's engaging in his 82nd professional fight, and he's been in with a long, long list of British champions. Break. He rarely troubles anybody, always gives value for money. A real genuine, wholehearted boxer. And it'll be another step up in the learning curve for Scotty Cardinal, who had his debut on the Kelbrook Matthew Hatton undercard. They gave him a ring walk, and, and I love his modesty. He just said, I've done anything to deserve a ring walk. But such is the expectation of the buzz around him that everybody wanted to see him, see what he had. And he had a tough old workout against Sid Razak, who was one of the great survivors of the British boxing scene. And here's another one, Johnny Greaves. So, Cardinal not getting pushovers, although he should have few trouble, or should, should, should have few problems, should we say, with Johnny Greaves. It'll be interesting to see if he can get rid of him early. I just wonder the wisdom sometimes with the young kids turning pro. I mean, the, so, some of them have boxed the best amateurs in the world, and they put them in with journeymen who are only going to get spoil around. And you know, yeah, you, you just wonder the, the wisdom. I mean, Johnny Greaves has been a, a great servant, but really, you just wonder what he can offer in this one tonight. Stubborn resistance. We hope so. A little bit of kidology with the uh, the youngster as well. He's tapping at his jaw and saying, go on, hit that. He certainly won't be phased by facing Scotty Cardle. Johnny Greaves, he's been in with, with a lot of big hitters. The likes of Lee Selby, Gary Sykes, Anthony Crawler, who's working in Cardle's corner tonight. Amongst others, Gavin Reese, Lee Purdy. Some big names and some, some big hitters. <laughs> Johnny Greaves doing the old come on then. I think Scotty Cardle is going to need a second invitation for that. He's a solid look about his work, uh, Cardell. I mean, he's, he's not bothered about... No, he just, uh, just tripped over the, the hoarding there, which is hanging out of the, the side of the ring. That's just getting put back in now. This is a little left lead from Cardell. He's going to try and land the body shot, but Greaves just spotted that one, and again, he's... Uh, He's really trying to out psych Cardle here, Greaves. There's a lot of chit chat going on in there. Cardle is having absolutely none of it. Cardle carries his hands pretty low. I don't know if that's the case just because of the, the opposition tonight. And he's not maybe as psyched up as, as he should be. Or if that's the way he normally boxes. You'll probably want to get those hands up a little bit. As the time goes along. Shake of the head this time for Greaves. He's been busy with his facial expressions and with his fist in that first round. And again, a little shake of the fist as Carl went back to his corner there from Greaves. You silly play antics, all right? <laughs> Listen, there's plenty of opportunities and spaces to hit you, but yeah. you're overshooting, you just need to calm down, down a little bit, like you always said. You're driving in with your head yeah. up in the air. Yeah. Everything's got to be behind the jab. When you're putting him to the ropes, he's coming down okay. and then a great shot there. But when he's come over to his side, right shot, drive that left hook in round there. Yeah. All right, to the body. And the next time, Charlie you're Adam, up, you're a great shot. formerly of Blackpool, now of Liverpool. Amongst the interested spectators. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hit your shots, lovely touch. Drop the right hook in, touch and touch, right hand, left up to the body. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. 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 Round two, Scotty Cardle, the youngster. Just 22 in the black against Johnny Greaves, who's been gurning and making faces and waving his fists around. And Pantomime performance in there from Johnny Greaves. I've not seen him like that before. No, but he's a character. I think he realises he can't compete on a boxing level. So he just plays little mind games with the kids. You can see him just surviving here. But, uh, I mean, this is what I mean when I, you know, I question the wisdom of making these matches. Cardinal's a good, solid looking little boxer. He's not someone who needs protected to this level. This little right hand. Uh, to Greaves his chin there. Yeah, very solid right hook. Greaves felt that one. And the pressure continues from Cardinal and not too much gesturing and posturing coming from Greaves in this round as Cardinal turns up the heat. Six steps go. I mean, it's only early days in his career, so it's, I suppose it's nice to introduce him to the pro game, get him a couple of wins on his card. But that's all this kind of match is achieving. But he certainly looks the part, he certainly looks like he has a future. I like that, the solid look, the way he throws the punches. His defences will probably tighten up as he, as he goes along. Probably his hands are low here because, uh, you know, he's not too bothered about the opposition. But, yep, I think we're going to get to like this young man. Reeves definitely boxing on the back foot here as Cardinal picks his shots nicely, doubling up there. Only Greaves says his ambition in this game is to have 100 fights, and he's close, this is his 82nd, and then pack it in, enjoy life and get fat. Well, there are worse ambitions. Well, John is a real character, and I hope he reaches the, the 100. I'm sure he will. I'm not criticising him, this is his job. But there's certainly a place for him. I'm looking at it from young Cardell, you know, he really doesn't need this kind of match. Solid work again from Cardell. Just softening his man up. Accuracy there as well, getting through with a very nice right uppercut. A little bit of blood from the nose as well. Greaves really felt that. Well, that's a couple of really good shots that Greaves has absorbed in this second round. Now, can Cardle keep this going? Or maybe just break Greaves down? When you have to hand it to Greaves, even taking those punches, he took a couple of real solid shots there, but he doesn't want to grab and spoil. He still wants to do his job and make it watchable. But uh, those punches hurt him. Yeah, and he's kept the clowning to a minimum in this second round because Cardle came out fast and has kept him backed up all the way. Good round. Right. Look, you hurt him a couple of times there, <laughs> all right, but you're not seeing him hurt in front of you, all right? Composure all the time. Get everything working off the jab, everything off the jab, all right? And when what you're doing is you're landing your shot and you're going for a walk, you're stepping back and admiring your weight. No, I think we saw the best of young uh, Scotty Cardle in that round. That was impressive. Greaves trying to make it upward for him, but he was finding the target. Uppercuts, hooks, the jabs. No need to worry about his own defence, nothing coming back from Greaves. So, yeah, I think this young man is going to develop into someone that we're going to enjoy watching. All the punches, all the moves. Comfortable so far for Scotty Cardle in his second pro fight. He's a very gifted amateur looking to take that talent to the professional game, see how far he can go with it against the veteran Johnny Greaves. For all you say about the value of Cardle getting 
A British journeyman, the likes of Sid Razak and Johnny Greaves. Surely he'll get more out of this than knocking over an East European with his first punch. Going to learn a little bit of patience, learn some discipline, and learn just to pick his shots and pace himself. But as you say, he can just afford to drop his hands because he knows that he's in with an opponent that can't hurt him, and that could be a bad habit to get into. Well, he's thinking what he's doing, he's not just charging up to Greaves now. So I think he would dearly like the stoppage here, so we're seeing little feints, he's trying to think his way close. Not allowing Greaves to get too close. You know, to, to find a bit of shelter, so... Yep, there is he, just trying to look for the openings. Just not the same tempo that we saw in the previous round. <laughs> Use of the elbow there from Johnny Greaves, his shoulder, excuse me. That, that was just okay. a bit of mischief, I mean, there was yeah. no the, 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 there was no snap in that little shoulder yeah. thing, that was just a bit of cadology. A bit of comedy. Still got a heck of a telling off for it. Now, John Gallagher in Scotty Cardle's corner will be looking for a little bit more cleanness and accuracy. <laughs> and a full-on conversation going on with him in that ring with Johnny Greaves. Ah, oh, it's just a slip. Cardinal is uh, treating a little bit like a spar at the moment, <laughs> which it isn't. Uh, so I don't blame him for you know, standing <coughs> off, finding a little bit of room. It should pick the tempo up as well now. <laughs> Greaves is back to the pantomime routine. Just trying to do anything to, to break Cardinal's concentration. Oh, a decent left hand. <laughs> oh, but he's, he's come out of that with a, a little nick under the right eye as well. Oh, he paid for that shot. Johnny Greaves. More clowning around from the veteran, more business and purpose from the novice. Oh, poor old Johnny Greaves, doesn't that sum it up? He lands a super little shot and then comes out of it with a cut below his eye. Sit down and relax. Listen to me, John. It's the last round. You've got to use your head. It's the last round. I'll tell you what, haven't I? Right. Use your head. Move round to your yeah, right. I'm trying. We'll do it more. Round to your right. You've got to move off him. Yeah? Move away from him. Keep your hands up. When he comes in on tight, you've got you to got fucking charge forward. Yeah, yeah good man, Chris. Got okay, fucking okay, heads. John, John is... relax, 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 relax. John, you've got to move round to that right. I want it in your mind now. Round to that right. When he comes in, grab him. No, uh, John, he's a, he's a terrific character. That was him just uh, pushed off balance, if you like. There's oh, always yeah, something yeah. to say. Don't think he needs us. I think Johnny can do his own commentary. <laughs> Second down for the 40 and final round. Uh, Johnny's brother Frank trying to get him back to planet Earth, I think. Johnny's been uh, in his own little world in this one. Doing everything he can to try and mess with the head of Scotty Cardle. It hasn't worked so far. Uh, Cardle's enjoying himself as well. He's teed off pretty much at will. Oh, what a head movement now from Johnny Greaves. Making him even more of an inviting target. Yeah. More chit chat going on. Oh, left hand getting through from Greaves, not troubling Cardle in the slightest. I was wondering in the opening round maybe that uh, Greaves would be lucky to survive the four rounds, but full credit to Johnny once again. It looks like he's about to do it. He's Excuse under a couple of minutes to go, but you know, keeping himself in there, keeping mobile. Well, it's what we'd expect from Johnny Greaves. He usually sticks around, but let's let's flip it the other way. Should there be some criticism levelled at Scotty Cardle if he doesn't put this fella away? Well, he changed tactics, I he had a hot second round, but it looked as though he was looking for the stoppage, but I don't get the impression that Carl's been looking for the stoppage. I mean, he's, he's laughing himself now. 
I think he's he, <laughs> Johnny's pulled him into the spirit of the thing. And you know, he is just going through the motions a little bit himself. <laughs> well, you've got to go back a long way. February 2011, for the last time Johnny Greaves got stopped, Scott Bradley Skeet achieving that. This is his 18th fight since. Nobody else has done it. And it'll be another notch on the belt for Johnny Greaves as he closes in on his, his century of fights. He's certainly made it entertaining, even if he isn't anywhere near on the scorecard. I wouldn't yeah. expect to be either. Well, he's always good fun, I mean, that's for sure. But uh, I think we'll see look, four rounders are enough. You know, you don't want this any longer over six or over eight, so four, OK. It served a purpose, uh, Johnny's done his job, and we've got a chance again to see that uh, Carden is one to watch for the future. A lot to like about him. And as you say, Jim, already after just two fights, time to just nudge him up a little bit in terms of quality. They take nothing away from Johnny Greaves, one of the great characters of East End boxing, and finally... Caught right in the last few seconds. I think it was the right hand, the right hook that finished him off. You know, he gets hurt before the knockdown. You can see he staggered along the ropes. He was shaken up, but it was certainly the right hand that put him on the floor. But that's it all over. The bell sounded, and I don't think Johnny's heard that. Right. We might be hearing bells in his head right now. I think Johnny was worried here. I think he was wondering maybe if the referee had stopped the fight. I don't think he heard the bell. But you can see he's unsteady in his legs there. So he'll be quite pleased to hear that he didn't get stopped and he can be working again next week. He was definitely shaken up there, you know. Yep. Johnny, I'm still not sure Johnny Greaves quite knows where he is. He's in the wrong corner. He's chatting away again. Look, Paul Smith on the ropes there. Sharing a laugh with him. I think, I, think he's, I think he's OK. I think he's just enjoying the banter with a couple of fellow professionals. <laughs> well, I think that shows that if young Carl hadn't been sucked into the, the happy spirit, then maybe he could have scored the stoppage. I think Greaves was already hurt before that knockdown punch landed because he staggered along the ropes to get to that corner. Uh, so, the, you know, you can see there he's kind of lost his way, eyes not quite focusing, and it uh, didn't take too much to put him on the floor. The damage had already been done, and uh, he looked stunned well after then. Even now his legs don't look all that steady. I'll tell you, another 30 seconds, and either we would have got that stoppage. Good finish from Scotty Cardle. Very impressive. Ladies and gentlemen, after four very entertaining rounds of boxing, referee Mark Lyson has scored this contest for Greaves. 36 points for Cardle, 40 points. He's still undefeated. Your winner from Leathern St Anne's, Scotty Cardle! <laughs> and how about that then? Johnny Greaves, everybody. Two, one, two. Hang on, no, I'm just waiting for Eddie Hearn. Just waiting for Eddie. Yeah. Sc Scotty Cardle, two out of two. How did you find the uh, character of Johnny Greaves in there? He definitely is a character. I was, to be fair, I watched back on him and uh, I knew what was coming. I was uh, ready. Didn't re frustrate me really, so I'm pretty happy that I kept, kept calm. But as you could see, I was a bit eager for the uh, knockout, a bit eager all in all. But I got all the shots I wanted to get off, so I'm happy. As long as Eddie and Joe's happy, I'm happy. Looked like you might have got the stoppage. The second round was hot, but yeah. you seem to sort of go back to yeah. almost sparring mentality after that. I think so. I started to get relaxed. As soon as I seen a, a bit of pain in his eyes, I started to relax, which is just a learning curve, really. It's uh, back to the amateur mind state of uh, things. 
and uh, next time, as soon as I see a bit of pain in the eyes, I'll go for it next time, definitely. Let's bring your promoter, Eddie Hearn, in. It was a great shot to finish things against Greaves, but he needs better matches than this, doesn't he? He does. I mean, he looks about as good as you can look against Johnny Greaves, which, which is very difficult. But I think with the experience he's had in the GB setup, I think we need to move him along quite quickly. As long as Joe's happy with, with the fights we're going to make, he's out again on the Carl Froch bill on May the 26th against Lucian Butte. Well, he's not fighting Lucian Butte. And then he's out on July the 7th on the Kel Brook show as well. So we're looking, you know, by the end of the year when he's been with us about seven or eight months we're looking for him to have seven or eight fights so we want to move him along at a decent pace and uh, we're very very excited about Scotty Cardle. Well done tonight guys thanks. Thank you. Thank you.